Hey everyone, Melanie Minshinger here, illustrator for Gina K Designs. Today I've got a new project for you with my newest set from Gina K Designs, Embroidered Flowers. And I'm going to show you how to make these really fun little square pocket cards with the embroidered flowers in this and that direct to paper technique that I showed in my previous video. So very minimal supplies for this particular card. You're just going to need a piece of Gina K Pure Luxury Heavy Base Weight cardstock. This is just the white and this is four and a quarter inches by eight and a half. We're going to score this at four and a quarter. So we've got a square card. I'm just going to score that a couple times. You're going to need a block for doing your stamping or you can use the Misty. I've got some scissors for creating this shaped card. And then if you want to put a gift card or some cash into it, I am going to use just a little craft knife. This is from that knife kit that I have from Arteza. And then the ink pads that I'm using today, I'm going to do this one. I might do a, a little different variation of it. I'm not sure yet, um, but I'm going to use the Gina K Red Velvet, the Soft Stone, Soft Stone, uh, the um, Jet Black Amalgam, and then the Stormy Sky. And I think that's all. If you want to do stitching on it, then you might want to just have a pen on hand and a blue or a black or just whatever color is going to coordinate or if you want contrasting stitches on there. For this card though, because I have these little French knots in here on a line, that's another thing that you can do to kind of look like little studs or little round stitches on this pocket. So I wanted just everything that you're using to be in this stamp set today. So let's go ahead and start with inking up this background. I'm just gonna grab a piece of paper. This is the one I used last week just to protect my mat. And I'm gonna go ahead and fold this because I don't want the ink on the back of the card. So I'm gonna take this lighter gray and I'm just gonna drag this. Actually, I'm gonna cut it first. I'm gonna cut it first because I wanna have the dark edges, more solid edges on both ends. So, so this card can stand up. Let me show you this. So it's actually going to stand up and that's because you're going to trim this base. So let me show you how you get a symmetrical pocket. You don't need any dies or anything, but you do need some scissors. So what I'm gonna do is two and an eighth is going to be the center of this and you can find that on your mat or you can just estimate so I'm just gonna cut from the center up to one side. And now you're gonna take one of these triangles and flip it and then put it on the other side and that is going to create that same angle. So I'm just gonna go up there from the bottom. Okay. All right, so now I've got my pocket and it needs to open it needs to be a top fold card. If you try to do this from the side, even if you trim the back, it's going to fall over, okay? So you're gonna choose which side is the front, open it up, and then you just need to trim the bottom of this pocket flat. Doesn't really matter how deep, and then it will stand up. Okay, so very easy, that's your pocket. Now, if you want to have a gift card come out of it, have your gift card or your folded up money handy, and you're gonna take that blade or that craft knife, and you're gonna go just right along the score, and you wanna make it, you can use the card as a guide so you know how deep it needs to be. So if you have it so that it's going to be a tight fit, so I'm gonna try just cutting it smaller than I need it just so that I can add just a little bit more. If you have it smaller than you need it, or a, just a nice snug fit, you don't have to do any adhesive on the inside or any foam squares or anything to hold it in. It's gonna stay just like that, okay? So very simple, so there's your card. So now I'm gonna take my lighter gray and I'm just gonna swipe this onto So I'm gonna go from both sides so that it's dark across the top and the bottom. Okay, so we've got all of those to look like our distressed denim. And now I'm gonna take the darker gray ink and I'm gonna go all the way around with these little dots. 
So if you choose to make dashes, you're just going to do little stitches and just follow along so that it's parallel to all the edges of the cardstock. But this, I'm going to just stamp it. And you might find it easier. For this one, I'm going to unfold it so it doesn't pop up. So I'm going to start in the middle. Okay. And then go to the other side. And again, the other side. So it goes very quickly. And if you want, you can have some different designs on here. And I'll refer in a minute to that light blue, more traditional looking denim card. I just thought it looked so similar to the background I did last week. So I just wanted to show it in a different color. And I can mask that so that I'm not going onto the back, but I just don't have my post-it notes out. I could grab that piece of paper that I used for covering up my mat. Just like that. Okay. All right, so there is my pocket. Now what I want to do is I'm going to do some of these flowers. So I decided to do these stitched round roses, or they could be another flower, maybe a peony or some kind of mum. So I'm going to put one here in the corner, and then I'm also going to do the inside of my card. Don't forget to use those coordinating stamps to decorate it. So there's the flower, and if you want, you can do those different sizes. Now I'm going to do some different leaves. And so I'm going to use both of the grays for this. So we have lots of different leaf choices in here. So I'm going to do these ones with the sort of kind of like um, cut out veins in them. They just have a little more detail. And you can use the two colors of gray or you can stamp them off. So I'll do a stamped off one there but you could also use that soft stone. So this is the Stormy Sky ink. Let me do that one like that. And then I want to do some in the Jet Black Amalgam. So I'm going to use these little kind of leafy vines. And I just thought this would be kind of fun for Valentine's Day. And you could also use this to create kind of like a border. I used this vine on this card to create that scallop that you see on a lot of pockets. And now what I want to do is I want to put a greeting. So I think I'm going to do love me on this one since I've got happy birthday on the other. And this could be for a Valentine or thinking of you or really any kind of card. So I'm going to do that right there. And, and I just got a little bit of ink on there. So I think I'm going to fill that in. I think I'm going to go ahead and use this stamp again just to show you how I can use this vine. Okay. And so you can just play around with that. And it's done whenever you think it's done. Let me show you those other ones again. I think I want to put some black down here too. So let me, I think I'll add, I think I'll add just another tiny little flower maybe. Let's see. So I'm going to put just a few of these in just to kind of bring that black to the bottom of the card there. That's it. That's the pocket card. So then you just slide in that cash, or you could, if you didn't want to do a gift card or cash, you could even tuck in a little note instead of just writing on the inside of your card. Oh, and let me put those leaves on the inside. So let me show you with a different leaf. If you haven't watched my other videos, I'm trying to use the different flowers and different pieces on these. Okay. So put one there. Oh, and I had a little bit of 
yellow on there apparently. So I'm gonna go over this again with this darker gray. I didn't clean the stamp before, so I apologize for that. There we go. Let's do that. And I mentioned in another video, make sure to have like some foam or something underneath this, like a mouse pad or that misty. Let me grab that real quick so I can show you how much more detail will show up in the same stamp when you use the foam pad. And then you can just compare. Okay. So I'm just going to slide this in here and put my magnets down. Get this cleaned off. And I'm going to just put that right there. Now I'm going over Actually, put it, do it right there. Okay, so I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use the amalgam this time. And you can go right to left or left to right. I actually usually do it the other way. I just, I grabbed it and, and didn't think about it. But I just find it usually easier to ink from this side and then close that way since I'm right-handed. So press, and so you can see more of the highlights in that leaf. Okay, so I hope this gives you lots of ideas. I'm gonna go record another video creating a embroidered shirt next, but I was just really excited how these little pockets came out. I think they're really fun for just friends, teachers' gifts, whatever, and definitely for little Valentines. So leave me some comments and let me know which of these pockets you prefer and what kind of card you would make. Please visit us at Gina K Designs and visit my blog, Hands, Head, and Heart. That's melanieminchinger.blogspot.com. I hope you enjoyed this video, and come check us out on Gina K Designs. This is Embroidered Flowers. Love this set. Thank you so much for watching. God bless.